Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, I will continue the problems based on number systems. In the previous sessions, we have we have already discussed a few problems related to number systems. Let's continue the problems on number systems. See the first question which is given in this session. If p plus q is equal to 6, p q is equal to 9, then find the value of p q plus q q. Here to solve this problem, we must know the formula of p q plus q q. Without knowing this formula, it is not possible to solve the answer. Okay. First of all, what is p q plus q q? Okay. P Q plus Q Q is equal to P plus Q into P plus Q into P square plus Q square minus P Q. P square plus Q square minus P Q. Here, if you observe carefully in this formula, we know the value of P plus Q and we also know the value of P Q. But we don't know the value of p square plus q square, right? We don't know the value of p square plus q square. So first what we have to do is we need to calculate the value of p square plus q square. Once we got the value of p square plus q square, then you can substitute that value in this expression. You will get the value of p q plus q cube. Okay. See here how to calculate p square plus q square, which is nothing but p plus q whole square, p plus q whole square is equal to, as we all know that, p square plus q square plus 2pq. That is a formula for p plus q whole square. Here, as we know, uh, as we want the value of p square plus q square, from this, you can write p square plus q square is equal to p plus q whole square minus 2pq minus 2pq. Now substitute all the values of p plus q and pq values in this expression. You will get the value of p square plus q square. Here p plus q is equal to 6. 6 square minus 2 into pq is equal to 9. Here 6 square value is equal to 36. 6 square value is equal to 36. 36 minus 18 which is equal to 18. That is the value of p square plus q square. Now you can substitute p square plus q square value in this equation. You will get the value of p cube plus q cube. p cube plus q cube is equal to p plus q into that is 6 into p square plus q square. What is p square plus q square? 18. 18 minus p q. p q is equal to 9. p q is equal to 9. Now here it is 6 into 18 minus 9 which is equal to 9. 6 into 9 54. 6 into 9 54. That is the required answer. p q plus q cube is equal to 54. That is the required answer. Let's move on to the next question. Find the number of times, find the very important problem, find the number of times the keys of a typewriter must be pressed to type first thousand natural numbers. Find the number of times the keys of a typewriter must be pressed to type thousand, first thousand natural numbers. First thousand natural numbers in the sense from one to in order to type 1 to 1000 numbers, how many times the keys must be pressed by the typewriter? That is the question uh, he is asking. Here, to type first 1000 natural numbers from 1 to 1000, we are having several digits of numbers. We are having single digit numbers and we are having two digit numbers and uh, three digit numbers and also four digit number we are typing up to thousand up to thousand in the sense definitely thousand is a four digit number right so how many four digit numbers and how many three digit numbers how many two digit numbers how many single digit numbers 
here we are starting with one single digit numbers are 1 to 9 single digit numbers are 1 to 9 two digit number starts from 10 up to 99 two digit numbers start from 10 and up to 99 and three digit numbers are start from 100 up to triple nine up to triple nine and uh, four digit numbers start from thousand but we are typing up to thousand only so only one single digit number one single uh, four digit number right see here here the point why we are uh, Find, uh, noting these kind of uh, single digit numbers, two digit numbers and three digit numbers, all those things is uh, to type any single digit number, typewriter has to press the key for only once. Single digit numbers to type, single digit numbers, typewriter has to press the key for only once. Whereas for two digit numbers, typewriter has to press the key for two times. For three digit numbers, three times. For four digit numbers, four times. That is the reason why I am writing all the numbers. Here total 1 to 9 means 9 numbers. 10 to 99. Here so many students are doing mistake at this point. They will think that 10 to 99 in the sense they will write 89 only. 89 is the wrong answer not 89 numbers 90 numbers from 10 onwards up to 99 total 90 numbers are there total 90 numbers and from 100 to triple nine 100 to triple nine total 900 numbers total 900 numbers why because first take the difference between these two if you take the difference between these two you will get 899 right you will get 899 after that just uh, raise a question yourself that whether you are counting the first number or not whether you are including the first number or excluding the first number if you are including the first number add 1 if you are not including the first number directly write down 899 but in this case uh, you are including the starting number Therefore, you need to add 1 to this 899, which is 900. From 100 to 999, total 900 numbers. Whereas, 1000, only one number, right? Now, to type any single digit number, typewriter has to press the key for one time. And for two digit numbers, he has to press the key for two times. Three digit numbers, three times. Four digit numbers, four times now after that you can add all the values after that you can add all the values 9 into 1 9 90 into 2 180 900 into 3 2700 1 into 4 4 which is equal to now you can add all these values uh, here it is uh, 9 plus 4 13 1 is carry 1 plus 8 1 plus 8 9 and next uh, 7 plus 1 8 and next uh, 2 2893 2893 total in order to type 1 2000 natural numbers 1 2000 natural numbers uh, typewriter has to press the key for 2,893 times. 2,893 times. That is the required answer for this question. I hope you understand. Next question. Last question in this session. The sum of the digits of a two-digit number is 8. The sum of the digits of a two-digit number. Here we are talking about a two-digit number. Let us take a two-digit number x, y. As we don't know uh, that particular two-digit number, we are taking that as uh, x, y. According to this sentence, the sum of the digits of a two-digit number is uh, 8. So, from this we can write it as x plus y is equal to 8, sum of the digits. If the digits are reversed, the number is increased by 54. Here, this is the original number. This is the original number 
now the reverse number becomes reverse number what is the reverse number if you reverse the number it will become yx initially that is xy now if you reverse the number it is yx after reversing the number after reversing the number what happen if the digits are reversed the number is increased by 54 it means original number original number that is xy plus 54 that particular number is increased by 54 guys uh, uh, to solve these kind of problems uh, in general in examination point of view we can go by option verification method option verification method that is the best option even though even though if you don't have options we can easily solve these kind of problems uh, just by assumption process just by taking the assumption process how we can assumption those values i will tell you now here the number the sum of the digits of a two digit number is eight it means that uh, i will assumption that the original number the possible values of original number one seven one plus seven eight two six 3, 5, 4, 4, 5, 3. Next, uh, one more original number, 6, 2. And next, 7, 1. These are the original numbers. Now, I will take the reverse numbers. Reverse numbers. If you reverse this original number 17, you will get 71. 26 reverse, 62. 35 reverse, 53. 44 reverse 44 and this is 35 and uh, here the reversal numbers are 26 and uh, this is 70. Now, after that you have to read the sentence. If the digits are reversed, number is increased. Once check it out where the number is not increased and uh, equal. If there is a E decrement in the number and also equal in the number you just eliminate that particular original number here if you observe carefully here the value is increases here the value is increases initial number 17 if we reverse the number that is increases here also 26 62 increases 35 53 increases 44 44 not increases so you can eliminate option 44 that uh, 53 35 that is decreases these two are equal and this is decreases but we want uh, increased value here also that value is decreases eliminate this one this is decreases eliminate this one now we have three options we have three options uh, which satisfies the given condition of increment now how much is the increment is required here from 17 to 71 the value is increased by 54 26 to 62 value is increased by 36 35 to 53 value is increased by 18 now among all the values 18 36 and 54 according to the question the number must be increased by how much 54 it satisfies only at this position therefore that is your required answer 17 is the original number 17 is the original number and uh, some of the two digits of that number is 8 uh, and if we reverse the number and it is increased by 54 that is the number original number is uh, 54. It satisfies all conditions which is given in the problem. Guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed the session. Thank you. Thanks for watching.